Welcome, board members. We're back. It's another Two Player Tuesday. I'm Jeff with my buddy John. Hello. And we are going to play Onitama. It's a pretty popular game for those that know the game because those that like the game love the game. Those that haven't played the game don't know that they're about to love the game. Fair. Yeah. It's Which was of... me. That was me like uh, until today. Yeah, right? So we're not going to do too much in the tutorial. I'm sure you'll pick it up as we go. The game is fairly simple. It's what I had put in the notes, not quite chess. Um, it's like chess light, yeah. if you will. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, diet chess. <laughs> diet chess. <laughs> Only 10 calories. <laughs> yep, now with 50% less chess. <laughs> so when you, we, get, we, we each get drawn two cards, this shows the, our available movement, panda and dog for me. And I've got mouse and otter up here. Then a fifth card is drawn, and in the bottom right corner of that card, there is a color, red or blue. It was red, so that means John's going to go first. That is currently a neutral card. Nobody can use it. Once John picks mouse or otter, he's going to take boar for himself and leave mouse or otter for me in a future round. Um, basically, his emperor needs to sit on my emperor's throne, or I have to sit on his, or any of his pieces can take out my emperor, and any of my pieces can take out his emperor. So that is it for the explanation. Not a tough game at all. Mm -mm. There's just a little bit of strategy and quite a bit of maneuvering to make. So the maneuvering is to you. Maneuvering. Okay. And so an interesting thing about this too is that knowing that I'm going to give you this card, you've kind of got to uh, plan ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to protect my emperor. We're going to do the otter technique. We're going to move one. So the black square is the, the piece you're going to activate and then it can move to any of said other squares. So we're going to protect the emperor. I'm going to take boar. Okay. It is your turn. Nothing better than to start up with some up dog. What's up dog? Not much. It's up to you. <laughs> All right, grandma, it's time to go. <laughs> so uh, it is to their left. He can move. He's going to there. Okay. I'll take this otter card. Let us see what we want to do. Knowing that you've got some forward striking capabilities and Forward and diagonal. We're going to mouse. Boar dog. Okay. So now seeing that he has this boar card, if I put anything in front of his two pieces, they have a front or a forward movement of one square, they will capture me. So I'm not going to stand in front of any of his pieces. Show me your face to my foot technique. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh... I think for now, I will panda my way forward. Mm, okay. So now you have a direct in front. Uh, I do. Ability. I'm going to. Hmm. Then you have a diagonal one. You do. Okay. So I don't want to take that space. I'm going to dog. Now, does he jaunt to the left here and then go forward? Either or. It's one space, so you can move directly to the... So he's going to go here. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's the other thing that's really interesting about this game. Everything only moves one space, and the space they can move is colored on the, on the card. Right. So we had played a test game a couple weeks ago. Yeah, right? yeah, that's about right. And so now you remember that dragon card where there was all the diagonals all... It's super strong. Yeah. And so you're dealt five cards random out of a pretty hefty stack. I'd say I have about 25 or 30 cards. So we're only playing with one-sixth of what's available, which is kind of fun for replayability. I will use... I have an otter idea. Uh -huh. Mouse is going here. He's mousing. Okay. Uh, welcome back, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious if that's going to get old and I'm pretty sure it's not no, no, absolutely not <laughs> absolutely not I'm waiting for one of these times you're going to say something as I take a sip of coffee oh, and it's just going to and we'll have a coffee laden board as I spit it out I it. just know so I panded my way over to here yeah oh boy making me the victor that way, that way. Okay. Well, now I ought to do this. Mm -hmm. So, using this one here, going to go diagonal this way. Right? Yep. No. Not going to do that. Why not? 
I think sometimes you just kind of have to. Up dog. You're going to move up dog? I'm going to give it up dog. Hmm. And sometimes, by the way, when I play these games, I just don't see my failure until somebody beats me. Well, too late. <laughs> much like the Yinch video, you can check it out in the link above. John pretty much showed me every failure I made during that game. That was game. a great game, though. <laughs> that, that's a fantastic game. Aside from winning or losing. The rules Says are the winner. <laughs> <laughs> it's even better if you win. But it's Man. still pretty good if you lose. It is fun, isn't it? I have to show you more of those. Yeah, there's a whole... There's a five or six game yeah. series, yeah, called the GIPF series. GIPF. Emphasis on the... Pff. <laughs> you have a... Okay, you do have Panda. Yes, I do. And you have Otter. I do. I'm making maneuvers here. We're going to mouse... Yep. Maybe that's what you were planning on. Uh, no. Uh, no, not quite. However, I will now, I mean, this is dangerous. I'm going to otter here. Hmm. Man, you're getting out there with your, yeah, your emperor. Like I said, it's dangerous what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to read your cards. No, like, so I'm, I'm looking at, that's the strategy here, right? It's knowing all five. Well, yeah, like really looking at your opponent's cards more than your own though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What can they do to me after I'm after I've moved? We might have to do two rounds of this. This is a good one. This is a good one. We'll do two out of three. How's that sound? That's that's two out of three. Sounds yeah. good. Okay. Sounds good. All right, dog. Go up here. Okay. Rough. It's tricky. To rock a rhyme. It is tricky. Ooh. That's silly of me. See, sometimes I just don't see it. You didn't take your hand off the thing, so we'll allow that. I just don't see it some days. Your boar. Your boar's got me. Uh... I've been hanging on to that one for a while. It just seems like a very good one. Yeah, I'm going to panda. I'm still going to panda, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, to this spot here. Okay. I'm going to otter right here. Nope, you got me. So let's, I'll just choose one of the two that I have. Make the worst of a best scenario. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here, at least line them up with the mouse. <laughs> As they salute their emperor. <laughs> <laughs> I like they're all facing him too. I yep. like a very good placement. <laughs> now as we go to the panda... Yeah, that's it. That is the game. So that is. I actually didn't plan that at all. No, just no I planned it. I planned it for you. I appreciate that. Re rewind back to where I prophesied that I don't pay attention. <laughs> okay. Should we do five new cards? That's what I. Yeah, we'll do. Uh, we'll uh, pause this for a moment. Come back for round two of perhaps three, unless I lose that one also, in just a moment. We have returned. We figured we would reveal them uh, live on the video here. So first, let's see who's going. First. All right. It is the way of the cobra. Kokai. That's going to be you. Cobra Kai never dies. Can I say that? I'm going to get demonetized now. Oh, yeah. That's the goal. Demonetized before I'm monetized. That's right. Stay okay. In the red. I've got crane Ooh. and sheep. All right. I've got turtle and I've got viper. Oh, this is definitely a snake theme. Yeah, that's true. That is true. However, red was dealt the neutral colors or the neutral cards, so you're up first. I'm just going to get real aggressive here. We're going to go viper, strike first, strike fast, strike hard. <laughs> Gnome mercy. Gnome mercy. I will follow with crane, straightforward. Mm -hmm. or cobra. Maybe I can do this entire round only using snake cards. Let's, well, no, see, I already can't do it because I've got to do turtle or yep. crane next time. Yeah. Shoot. And I would have to give you back a, a snake card. Do my snakes. I can and shall viper forward. Okay. Turtle. And I can only do one thing with the turtle. 
which is doing this. Yes. So which uh, makes me feel exposed out there now. Yeah. Okay. Sheep. I'll go to this diagonal. Okay. I'm going to viper to right there. Yeah, all right. I will turtle my way out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm, smart. Okay. So then if I, if I do that, you do the other. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I don't see any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Play the player, not the game. <laughs> so I'm going to sheep to here. And if I'm not mistaken, this piece can only go to that square. Is that correct? With the cobra, this goes here? Correct. I mean, or here and there. Yes. Mm, but then that one can come here. Yeah, but we weren't talking about that one. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> we know. were talking about a totally different Something piece. Something different. Um, okay, I'm going to sheep my way there. By breaking my own rule, I did take my hand off. So I will viper straight forward and... Oh, I didn't even see... <laughs> oh my goodness. It's going to be three out of five uh, indeed, or two out of three indeed. I spent so much time on other things. The score is one red, one blue. We're going to reset this board. Five new cards. All right. We'll be right back after these messages. Do you find yourself itching at night? So call now for a free trial. We're back. Ignore those commercial messages. Sometimes they're totally irrelevant. Sometimes they're hyper relevant. Let's see who's going first All this right. round. Blue. Ooh, the Phoenix. Phoenix. Which is oddly the, is reverse turtle. It is the unturtle. The unturtle. <laughs> I've got a rabbit and a, a monkey. Oh, I wish I had a rabbit in a hat. That would be amazing. Maybe like a 6'4 Impala. I've got a sable crab. Crab has some pretty good movement. Mercury sable crab. Right. So You are up. Yeah, here we here we are. We have a lot of diagonal movement in this game. This I've got to pay attention this, this time. This one, this one, this one, your sable. Yeah. Everything with the crab is uh has a diagonal movement. <laughs> Going for a scuttle. <laughs> we shall uh, rabbit. Oh no, the rabbit! <laughs> the rabbit. Uh, my, my goal last game by moving him out, I want to try to capture your. You know, it's always sit on my throne. Yeah, it's always attack the other person. I'd like to sneak in there. Um, yeah, I feel like that's a much harder way to win. It is unless you take out some of the other pieces first. Sure. Because they kind of clear the way a little bit. Sure. Phoenix. The anti-turtle. Mm -hmm. The rabbit. Okay. You are, you are saving that crab, Mr. Krabs. It's a good one. I, I really want that one. Sable lets me skip a spot and move to the next one. So I'm skipping that one, move to that one. Cool. We're in a phoenix. You're going for a strong flanking maneuver here. I see that. You have some definite defense in that. I feel like we're both really strategizing this game because this is the one. This is know, it. This is this means everything. First time you've monkeyed. Yeah, just to whether I want to monkey this guy or this guy. I think monkey I'm, that guy. Monkey this guy. So we have diagonal. All over the place. All over the place. I mean, this, yeah, the, the cards came up pretty quite, uh, crazy on this one. Yeah. I'm going to sable, skip a square, move over a square. All right. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm not, not quite sure. Phoenix. Mm hmm. Okay. I've got to take him out. So I'm going to monkey over here. And I don't think you can retaliate immediately. You don't have a... Otherwise, you could have got me. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little more exposed than I'd like to be. Which is interesting, because you have three pieces in their original location. 
Yeah, but, it, but I'm about to lose two of the ones that left home. Which, unlike chess, cannot just throw away your pawns in this game. I'm gonna... I'm going to... Grab it back. Okay. Both could move backwards. Sure. So then it was just a matter of which card was I giving up. So if I crab strike you, I can get monkeyed or sabled. It's as if you figured out why I ditched the rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, so you've defended yourself well. Because if I go here, you've got two, two ways. But if I go there, you've also got a way in a crab. I'm going to do it. Finally crabbing. It's like, see how good that is to get out of harm's way? It is. It's just complete deflection. Monkey. Hmm. Well, now's your chance. My throne's open. I know, right? It's, <laughs> no, I don't have crab, though. I can't. Well, I mean, you gave it away. I did. We're going to... It looks like Phoenix hit the show. Phoenix our way right there. Okay. Crab. Okay. I'm glad to have it back. Monkey. Well, clearly Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> you forced my hand. I have a mortal wound in there. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Pretty much around the bloody spot. <laughs> I'm going to rabbit. Well, that's a fine mess. <laughs> I don't know that I'm getting out of that one. No, I'm not getting out of that one. You have me locked down for sure. What do they call it? Emperor mate? Oh, man. Uh, actually, no, it's the way of the stone. Mm. And if you seat yourself on my throne, it's the way of the river. Okay. So you've been way of the stoned. I've been stoned twice. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't inhale. <laughs> oh, man. Well, there's like no reason to drag this any further. Just monkey around. Just monkeying around. Wish I could go forward two squares at a time so that way I could uh, sit on your throne instead of stone you. That's it. And that is it. Two out of three goes to blue. Onitama, man. Such a good game. It is. So there is an expansion, uh, the wind... It's, it's a wind expansion. The uh, There's a little wind elemental. And I'll show you one of the cards here. So this is the octopus. And it shows you can move diagonal here. But then after you do it, you place the wind piece wherever it was into any one of these squares. And it sends whoever it touches back to their starting spot. Interesting. So yeah, there's all these different wind cards. That puts a huge spin on the game. Sure does. After, I mean, like I said... If, if we take a quick look, there's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 34. Right. Without the wind expansion. Right. So then this is like 10 more with it. So that's Onitama. Thanks, you guys, so much for checking this out. We hope you enjoyed it. Please, uh, if you did enjoy it, please like, comment, subscribe, all of the things. We'd appreciate that most muchly i think that's the best way to put that absolutely most muchly most muchly and as always we'll see you at the next boardroom meeting